there is no other type of camera that can capture a moment quite like this. What's going on YouTube? Today I want to do a follow-up review on this camera right here, the Insta360 X4. This camera has been out now for about five or six months and some of you might still be wondering if you should get it or not and today I'm gonna give you good reasons why you should absolutely get it. So if, you, if you've already made up your mind that this is not a camera for you, this might not be the video for you. This is more so for somebody who's still on the edge trying to figure out if, this, if they should get this camera. Or maybe if you've decided that this camera is absolutely not for you, but you still watched anyway because you wanted to see a different opinion, well, I'm here to give it to you. I paid for this camera myself from Amazon. This is not a sponsor video or anything from Insta360. I paid for this. 100% out of pocket. Now, I have recorded a whole lot of different videos with this camera, shots that you almost wouldn't believe how it was taken if you didn't know about the Insta360 X4. I've been using Insta360 cameras for a long time. I had the Insta360, the, the X1. I didn't buy the X2, but then I had the X3, and then now I have the X4. And then whatever comes out next, I'm probably gonna upgrade too. But the main reason why I upgraded to this camera is because of the 8K resolution. In fact, while I'm actually talking about this camera, it, should, it makes sense that I should actually switch to this camera right here. That way you guys can see what the video quality is like during the sunset. Before I switch to the camera, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys some of the videos that I've captured over the last few months. Some are a little bit longer than that, but it's going to be videos that I've captured in both portrait and a landscape because some of them were meant for my Instagram and now I'm posting them on YouTube where it's going to be landscape. Also, they're not going to be as good as the ones that I posted on Instagram because I can't use the same music and when I have my videos on Instagram, I use, you know, a lot of hip hop, you know, songs that would be copyrighted on Instagram, I mean on YouTube. So all my sound effects cannot really translate when I put some generic music just for YouTube. But anyways, you guys are gonna get to see the videos that I've captured in bright daylight, in uh, low light conditions, some of them inside the water and some of them in the sky. I went um, parasailing for the first time about two months ago and I used the X X4 and it, it captured an amazing view. But anyways, this camera is very, very capable. You know, um, I absolutely love it. So another thing I love about this camera is that you can use it like your dash cam. So sometimes when you have a dash cam, you have to have front camera and you have to have rear camera. That way you can capture both sides. Well, with an Insta360, in my case for cyclists, I have an e-bike that is capable of almost 50 miles an hour. In the case, in my case, I have just one camera that can record both front and back. And it can record the sides. It can essentially, I mean, you guys already know, record my entire 360. I love this because God forbid if I were to get into an accident and I have to prove my case that I wasn't at fault, I can just use this. And it also overlays GPS data 
which is great when it's connected to your uh, device. You will see all your GPS data, speed, location, and whatever it is that you want to put up there. But like I said, this is not only just a fantastic camera to have for traveling, it is a great, great camera to have for, you know, as a dash cam and pretty much all around. But let me get to my location. Another reason why I really, really love the Insta360 cameras in general is I just rode my bike here using this camera as my dash cam and now I can use this same camera to capture incredible views. There is no other camera that is quite this versatile. A camera that can capture all around you, it's waterproof and it's got good quality. Obviously it doesn't quite have the camera quality of something like the Osmo Pocket 3 but at the same time, you have an incredible camera here with great stability that can capture great, great quality, uh, image quality. But you can't really use this as your dash cam camera on something like this uh, very well. I mean, I've seen some people mount it, but it's not recommended. Plus, when you're traveling fast speed, there's going to be a bunch of jello effects. It's not waterproof, so you can't go in the water with it. With this camera right here, Insta360 X4, I can get in the water with it. Like I have so many great shots of me using this camera, whether it be in the pool, running, even I've actually attached it to my drone and flown with my drone before. This camera is just so, so versatile. Now there's only one downside to this camera. Actually, there's only two real downsides to this camera when you compare it against other action cameras. One is the fact that the lens is uh, a bit exposed, so it's not as durable as something like, you know, an Action F5, Action 4, a GoPro, Insta360, Ace Pro, you know, cameras like that that have the lens protected, which is why when I actually, uh, when I'm riding, I typically have this lens guards on it. I only take them off to record videos like this in situations where I want a higher, a bit of a higher quality. Now this is not the optimal time to use Insta360 cameras because it's evening time. Uh, the best quality you're going to get out of this camera is going to be in bright sunlight. But I chose this time to record because I wanted to show you guys that even when the light is going down, you can still capture some incredible, incredible videos it's all about what your use case is for if you have the money to buy multiple cameras then by all means if you if you care about the highest quality and portability then you would want the osmo pocket 3. now if you want something that is more versatile if you want something that will give you the best um versatility of all cameras, the Insta360 X4 is going to be by, by far the best camera you can get. Now there's a company called KuCom, something like that, they just came out with their newer version of the uh, 360 camera that records in 8K. I haven't tried that camera so I can't speak on that, but as far as I know, Insta360 X4 is the most versatile camera that you can possibly get.
so much I can say about this camera. If you're really thinking about getting this camera, I would highly suggest you do get it. Making a tech product is not just about the hardware. A lot of companies are making a bunch of techs with great hardware, but they're missing out on the software. And this is where Insta360 capitalized. Their app is second to none. They have the absolute best app when it comes to uh, mobile photography, or you know anything that involves camera and their app, their app is just so much better than anything else. The only one that I, the the one that I would say comes close to it would have to be the uh, DJI. The Mimo app for the Osmo Three, Osmo Pocket Three is pretty good. But overall, Insta360 definitely has the best app, uh, the best software for their cameras their app makes editing 360 cameras a breeze like it, they make it so much easier they, they keep coming out with updates you can pretty much do your entire edit in your phone or you can use the insta360 studio and edit your videos but they've they've put in a lot of work into their app and this is one other reason why i think that they just they're second to none Anyway guys, thank you for watching. If you like this kind of videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see an update review of the Osmo Pocket 3, please subscribe and catch you guys in the next one. Peace.